Right, hello everybody. So today we are making a start on our second cut. Silage. So it is the evening of the 19th of July and we are just off to pick up the first load. Um, so we rather started mowing today about half one, two o'clock-ish. Uh, it's now half past six. He went raking. He's about half an hour ahead of me. So he'll have plenty done time we get there. So it's not a, not a big wheel, but it is all permanent pasture. That is That doesn't take much to dry. And in this weather, it is warm and sunny and a little bit breezy and it doesn't take long for that kind of grass to get too dry so that's why we're pushing on not worrying about a 24 hour wheel because this type of grass just doesn't need it so tomorrow thursday is good all day and hopefully friday should be as well we've got about 70 acres to cover give or take a little bit so we should get it all done before we should get it all done before kind of Friday dinner time hopefully and then get all sheeted down ready for the next lot of rain because we have had uh, a nice wet July uh, we've got a few dry days here and then rain is coming back in again which is good so here we are in field as you can tell it's already pretty dry uh, not a massive crop that is due to uh, kind of a month's dry, five weeks dry we had all the way through June, um, late May, uh, probably six weeks actually because the second half of May was dry. So right let's get going. going to be operating on acres to the load for this crop. Uh, we are going to have to go quite a way to get filled up. So, still chugging along on the first load. We've gone the headland, We've done a good few up and downs. I think this is about five or six acres this field. So uh, we're going a long way to find a, find a load. But we have encountered a kind of a problem, I guess. Um, one of the things with a wagon, you have to have enough grass going through the pickup, through the chopper mechanism, to get it to force up the load inside the body. Uh, in a light crop like this, you, you can't break any wider than we already do. So the way to do that is a bit more forward speed to get the crop going through faster. I can't do that here. Uh, well, I can. The, the, the chopping mechanism will take it, but the pickup. But because the crop is quite short, it wasn't tall when it was cut. Um, pickup won't pick up cleanly at a reasonable forward speed so we're stuck about seven kilometers an hour uh, and he's doing a reasonable job cleaning up there but I could go probably 10 or 11 for the chopping mechanism um, but there's no point in doing that and leaving half of it behind so we have had to slow down and uh, take it steady so 
the beginning, this is our first load cleared. Or our first load failed, with most of the field cleared. So, right, let's go and tip out. So we are into the next day now, and we have just got half a dozen tiny little swaths on the final field of the first block. And then I've cut, <coughs> and then I will have cut up with the rake. Uh, ben is mowing again. He started this morning. We'll see. Got down seven or eight. He's got seven or eight acres down ahead of me. So when I've finished this, this will all go onto this final load. I will then get onto the rake and go and start raking. Well, then he will then go on and finish mowing the last 30 acres or so. So we're just. So I will. So the rake won't quite be in the same field as the mower when I get there. But uh, I'll rake that one up and then come back picking up. So once I finish raking the next one, I will see where he's to with the mower. Um, I will probably then start picking up. And then hopefully the time he is finished mowing, I'll be getting close to finishing picking up what I've raked. And then he can go raking and we'll carry on. But that's the plan. It probably won't work. But as always, make it up as we go along. Right, so now we are raking away. So as you will notice, we are raking with the 4345. Did I put a post on Instagram or was there some on YouTube? We had a comment that said, um, we need to see more of the 4345 because we don't show it very much. And that is very true. No, we don't. So we are raking with it. So this was done. So Ben was raking with this last night, but we didn't get to catch any film of it. So, so while he's mowing now, get ahead a little bit. We are just doing some raking. And the time we finish this and get all back on picking up again, he will be finished the mowing.
So what we're raking at the minute is actually the reseed we did back in the spring. Uh, early May this one in. And it's established very well, but it is very weedy. There's a lot of broadleaf weeds in it. Uh, fat hair mostly. So that's not ideal, but now we've taken it off. But it hasn't seeded, so it shouldn't grow again. So next cut should come on nice and clean. It, considering the dry weather we've had, it has established quite well. Uh, there is some thinner patches up on the, the upper section that you saw on the drone footage. But on the whole, it's come on quite well. So just a little bit of history on the 4345. Uh, this came here new in early April 2002. Uh, it replaced a 390 that was 11 years old at the time. And this is what I spent most of the time driving. So at the time we had the 4345 and a 4260. Um, and if you go back in time compared to the very early YouTube videos, there is some footage of those two working. So I think there was a video together and then there were separate videos. Uh, go back. I might put one at the end. If I remember, I'll put a link to the video at the end and you can click wherever it goes. Uh, go and see one of the early videos. But anyway, yeah, so this, this arrived in uh, 2002. When it came, it had two hours on the clock. And yesterday evening, while it was raking, it ticked over 9,000 hours. So it's 9,000 and about three now. So between 2002 and when the 5712 came in 2017, this is what I drove the most. Uh, we didn't trade it in at the time because what left, or or what we traded in was a 3095, which is very similar to what I have just bought. But that's a whole other story there. So since 2017, this has done a lot of cow feeding. So this is that's its main job. It sits on the Keenan wagon in the winter. In the summer, it does little bits like this, little bits of raking. Um, it's done some fertilizer spreading. You saw in the spring, it actually planted this field with the grass seed. But other than that, you know, it, it, its main job is feeding the cows. So that's what it spends all winter doing. Right, so here is the final little bit we're going to rake. So we will pack up, back to the wagon. There we go. So here we go with the final swath of the final field of second cut 2023. Um, the swaths haven't got any bigger all the way through. But here's hoping. Uh, this is the last dry day for so, or the last dry day that we can see on the forecast. So there is a good lot of rain coming. Hopefully, uh, there's moisture in the soil now. So a bit of fertilizer on, and hopefully third cut should be better than this come early September. Time we do that. And that is it, off to tip the final load. So I will say thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.